of appeal now. Replacing your windows adds value and style to your home. So here are some things to think about before you place the order. Designer Avisa Mojtahedi joins me. Hello, gorgeous. Fact that you are design and architecture, yes. and you often need to defer to an architect if you want to make certain changes in your home. For sure. But I love the idea of being able to have like the best looking house on the street or on the block, right? It's all about the curb appeal. Absolutely. The idea is to have the hottest curb appeal possible. Yes. Um, I'm hoping after this little segment, everyone is rushing home to see their house. They want to drive up and be so excited, yeah. but they're not sure if it's really their house, so they ask their neighbor if it's their house. <laughs> you know, excitement, confusion, all of that. Because it's that good. It's that good. Yes. Yeah, that's the goal. So we're going to walk you through um, a whole bunch of different things that you might want to think sure. about um, when it comes to your exterior. A lot of emphasis, obviously, on windows and doors because they've Absolutely. come a long way. Yeah. So this is a new build I'm working on right now. And uh, with new construction, we have a lot more flexibility with where the windows are placed and how everything aligns. Mm -hmm. So if we go to, pardon my really big fat arrows here. Yes. Um, but the idea was to show how um, we have our equal size windows and they're spaced equally. And I also love how they align um, nicely as well. So above the garage doors and the main door and the window. That's something that's going to make you feel like I'm I'm a symmetry person. Exactly. It yeah. makes you feel so satisfied because my windows are not aligned like that. The house is from 1905. Okay. They, it's just <laughs> like they built it without looking. Like all the windows like the, are okay, everywhere, window right? So this is very beautiful. And just like it's just very welcoming and a bit more of a calm design. Yeah. Uh, which I think is quite nice. Now, if we don't have the uh, the luxury of doing a new build and you're working on a renovation project, mm -hmm. um, two ways of updating your windows and curb appeal would be changing your window system. Yep. So normally you would have a large million running down the middle, which looks like two windows. Yes. Um, but what we've done here is a single window panel and a sm uh, more narrow panel to the side, and that one is the more operable one. Oh, so I those see. are the ones that actually open up. Yeah. Um, it just makes your window feel a lot bigger and um, less busy. Okay. The other thing I really like about it is that the trim is black. Yes. So trim color is another way to update your windows. Mm -hmm. um, the dark trim is very much on trend right now. We have the dark trim, which would be on the outside, and yeah. you can do a, a different color trim on the inside. That's um, cool. On the main floor, what I've done is the main floor trim on the inside is dark, but on the second floor, we opted for a lighter trim. Nice. It just gives it a bit more flexibility for decor. Yeah, that's right. So if you're in a bedroom space and you're going with that lighter look, maybe you don't want the contrast of that bold black exactly. interior. So that's great to have that option. These trims from Omega Windows are paintable. Good. But please don't paint your window trim until you speak to your window supplier. Okay. Do not take my word for it. If they say go ahead, then that's cool. Yeah. Um, because some materials may not take paint properly. Okay. That's something you got to so check in first. We need to make sure we mention that. Okay. Yes. That's good. Yeah. Good tip. Um, speaking of windows, um, mm -hmm. if we're able to get uh, get us a larger window, this is the family room space, and this massive window is just such a beautiful backdrop to the furniture space layout. Yeah. Um, it really brings the outside in. Uh, we will have a slider component to the side. And that will kind of mimic what we have going on with our window design as well. All right. So imagine our slider ends up right there. Now, if you are going to embark on a project like this, like this window is huge, what right. do you need to do? What do you please, need to check? Please deal with a designer, an architect, and an engineer. Yes. Um, do not start poking holes into your walls. Yeah. Please. Yes. Because um, that's will big. Fall down. Yeah. Um, we need a structural element for sure, uh, and just to make sure everything stays up. That's lovely. Yeah, yeah, and you don't often see that. I mean, a window, it goes it's all the way down to the ground. These windows, and there's a similar scale in the living room as well. Yeah. Um, but they're massive. And that is so cool. Really cool. Um, so this space leads on to our kitchen area. Mm-hmm. Does that not look beautiful? It does. <laughs> Almost there. If you're a designer, like, it's Almost. beautiful, drool-worthy. Right. <laughs> um, normally, our kitchens would end at this point, so if you're considering a renovation or extension, um, obviously, you would gain cabinetry, yes. and you can also do a banquette, which I'm currently obsessed with. Mm -hmm. um, we are planning a banquette in this corner here. Nice. So that is a really great way to tuck furniture to the corner. I'm super accessible, and you're not dealing with a thousand chairs or maybe ten chairs yeah. um, um, around that space. But you do have to check then how low the window goes, don't For you? For sure, yeah. So these windows, we space them at about handle height, which is around 36 inches off the floor. Okay. Um, that gives you enough space to do a nice backing to your banquette, mm -hmm. uh, and you can get creative with color. 
Yeah. So this is what the banquet will look like. Lovely. Doesn't that look beautiful? That's really nice. Yeah, yeah you see you. so many more people with that. It's really comfy. You've got the window right behind you, right. so you've got the gorgeous natural light coming in. Right. It's and lovely. this is almost as beautiful as oh, this one. Oh, really? Almost. Yeah. Um, this is a banquette that I did for a client, and obviously we don't have a window above. Yes. So we're able to draw the back up. That's so nice. Um, yeah, this turned out really well. Just very happy colors as well. Yeah. Um, we do have a door here that is fixed. So okay. if you open it, you will fall down to the basement. <laughs> Kind of good to know, out. but it looks really it good. Looks great. That's nice. Um, we have enough clearance to be able to actually access the banquet. Okay, and you have to think about all of those things. Absolutely. And what do we learn in this picture this here? This is a mudroom. So um, okay. basically, I, mudrooms are where you drop everything, your yes. day, your... I know your family's really big into hockey, oh, which is awesome. All the gear, those big bags, the Everything. hockey sticks, yeah. the whole nine. Those need to go somewhere. Yes. Um, so in this space, uh, I don't know if this will accommodate maybe one hockey stick, yeah. a couple of helmets. Um, but basically in your mudroom, we kept the window quite high so you can have a bench and ideally add some more storage co uh, components. Lovely. Um, but just maximize your storage uh, in your mudroom and just make sure your windows are the right size. and. Um, enough off the floor. And what's nice about having a window in the mudroom is a lot of us don't have the option of having all that natural light in a mudroom space, right. depending on where it is in the house, but right. that's beautiful. And then it becomes a finished space, which is actually working for you. because it's, it's functional. It's right. functional, yeah. right? Keeps the smell in there. That, yeah, that's right. Maybe, I don't know if oh, the Oh, the well, smell, <laughs> my goodness. Okay, um, and which room is this? This is my favorite part, or one of my favorites. Um, yeah. So, this is the main entrance, le entrance leading into the living room. Okay. Um, and we opted to not have a bulkhead above. So a, a very uh -huh. open flow concept is not just on the floor, it's also on the ceiling. Okay. Um, so get rid of your bulkhead if you don't need to run any HVAC or electrical. Yes. And just have it very clean and open. So this is, this is the entrance. Yeah. It's going all the way, all the way up. up. And so it looks very grand, very doesn't grand. it? If you need privacy, it's more costly, but you can have a pair of uh, custom doors made with like uh, glass inserts. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, which would look stunning. 